All right, guys, so it's 9.30 this morning. I'm about to do chest and cardio, so let's go. So this is my first time back doing barbells for the chest in a long time. For you guys that follow me, you'll see that I mostly just do dumbbells in chest day, and I might occasionally throw in a flat barbell bench just to test my strength. And the reason for this is that I've found, especially on the incline bench, but in general, no matter what uh, form of bench press I do with a barbell, it just seems to annoy my rotator cuff. Now, it doesn't necessarily cause pain, but whenever I'm doing the bench with a barbell, I just get this annoying feeling in my rotator cuffs, which isn't necessary at all. So I usually just stick to using dumbbells. However, it was time to fucking change up my workouts because I've been using dumbbells for so long. I'm pretty much doing the same chest workout in general for so long. I've been getting fucking bored of it. And as you guys probably already know, if you do the same routine over and over again, eventually something's going to give in and either your strength gains are going to stop, your muscle gains are going to stop, or you're just going to get fucking bored with the routine and stop going to the gym. So I spent a lot of time warming up in the bench press. I did a lot of isolation exercises to warm up the rotator cuffs. I did a lot of cable work, a lot of light dumbbell work just to really get that area warmed up. I then moved on to the bench press. I did about three or four sets of just the barbell just to really focus on getting that area warmed up and keep myself safe and I then pyramided up to the weight that I was using so I started off with four sets of quite a high incline for the bench I then moved it on to a slight incline as you can see I moved on to the flat bench I'm using 90 kilograms I got around four sets of three of this just keeping the reps low just to test my strength and keep my strength during this cut then moving on to another incline movement just to keep that focus on the upper chest now at this stage I was pretty fatigued so I only lifted 22.5 kilogram dumbbells but I just really focused on getting a good contraction in that upper chest. Now I didn't record every single exercise that I did during this workout. I also did some dips and cable flies but I just want to keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. And as you can see from this chest workout and the last chest workout I showed you guys, I really focus on that upper chest and even at that I still haven't got the results that I want so I'm just going to keep the focus there. Now I finished off the workout with my favorite exercise for the chest and that's the incline dumbbell fly. If you perform this exercise correctly, you will get a great contraction in your upper chest. However, if your shoulders are out of place during this exercise, you're not really going to get that good of a contraction. And if your form isn't correct, you're probably going to injure your shoulder going as deep as I'm going. But I perfected my form, figured out what works for me, and I can really go deep on these and get a good stretch. And then I like to come quite far up, not touching the dumbbells, but coming up enough to get a good contraction. Now, I, I picked these weights for a trying to get a rep range of around 10 to 12 reps however i don't just because i pick a weight that i think i can do 12 reps with i don't just do 12 reps once i hit 12 reps i like to go until i can't do any more reps and you're going to see that during this set i like to really push myself especially whenever it's my final set of my final exercise just really go all out and a lot of the times i'll do a super set where i'll do some incline dumbbell flies and i'll then do incline dumbbell presses but that's it for now guys boom so that's chest and cardio just finished. About to get home, get a shower, and get this fucking post workout meal in. I'm so fucking hungry. That took me two and a half hours. Post workout fruit. So here I've got myself a small ass post workout meal. Just got two beef burgers in here with some of my homemade salsa. Also got some lettuce and tomatoes in this bun. Then just a small salad, and then a small portion of mashed potato. All I used was rice, milk, potatoes, and dill. And that's going to do it for my post-workout meal. I could have eaten a lot more, but I don't really feel the need for it. So I'll just save a lot of carbs and fats for later. So I'm going to eat this now, guys. And then I'm going to do some YouTube work. And now it's 8 p.m. I'm about to prepare my second meal for the day. I'm in the middle of preparing it. I've got some white rice right here. I've also thrown in some turmeric, salt, peppers, chilies, and dill. Also got some sweet potato as well. I just sliced that up very finely. I've thrown in some coconut oil as well and cracked some pepper. I'm only going to be having a small bit of this. Someone else is going to be eating it as well with me. And also I'm going to be saving some for tomorrow. I've also got some lemon sliced up here and I'm just going to line this pan. And then I'm going to throw these salmon fillets on it as well. These are just some frozen wild Alaskan salmon fillets. I'm going to be eating two of these. And then I've also got the salad prepared for later as well. So I'm going to prepare all this. And then I'll show you whenever it's ready. So I'm going to eat this. Got the salad, the rice, the salmon, the sweet potato. Got some apple juice as well in here and a wine glass. Because I'm sophisticated like that. I'm going to eat this right now. 
Boom!